This is the only channel that you'll ever need to win at betting, so pay attention. Today's subject is understanding what you need to become a professional gambler. Let me just start with the reasons that you need to consider becoming a professional gambler are quite simple. One is you can do it as a side or main income. You know, if you just needed to make a little bit of extra money, it's relatively simple. Of course, to get bigger, you need to put more thought into it. It's recession proof. Just look around you. Look at the economy. It's dying. Builders are without work. People are suffering with their mortgages because of the high interest rates. Uh, companies are closing. You know, with betting, that's never going to happen to you. You can bet all day long, every day and any day, and the economy is never going to affect the state of your betting account, right? Then next, you're going to take your own destiny into your own hands, right? How important is that? For me, that is everything. You do not have to work for an employee, or employer, should I say. You do not have to uh, go uh, to their schedule. You can pick and choose what you want to do. So, you know, betting is not for lazy people if you really want to get into it, but, you know, you do have control of your own destiny. Also, it's very, very easy to profit, especially from what we call the low hanging fruit, and that's at the beginning of your journey. So if you are a person that's just contemplating this, or ready to turn your betting life around and start taking advantage, you know, it is relatively easy to profit at the early stages of betting. But for me, the biggest one, the greatest feeling of the lot is knowing that you are taking money from these scoundrel bookmakers. These people who have got super rich on the back of problem gamblers, on the back of so many different uh, you know, scenarios where they're just false advertising, you name it, right? Bookmakers are the last scum. Um, that's what we hate, and that's what you should hate, and that's why we want to take them on. So the reasons why you can profit from gambling are quite simple. First of all, bookmakers, they price up every game and then they price up within that game many different scenarios, right? So you can imagine, you know, out there you've got thousands of different bets within the system and you can pick and choose when to bet. You are not told when to bet. They have to offer and you choose when to bet. Secondly, there are hundreds and hundreds of bookmakers, right? You can sign up to all of them, but you know, bit by bit, and you can take advantage of putting the different odds against each other and benefiting. You know, all what you're trying to do is get ahead of the game by taking advantage of the odds, and you do that by having multiple betting accounts. And on that note, the easiest way to actually take advantage of bookmakers is through, you know, acquiring a software. You go out there, you sign up to a software such as Rebel Betting, for example. Uh, they, you, you fill in the bookmakers that you want to uh, attack and all the false odds come out. They, they, they inform you of the false odds so you can take advantage. It's a really easy system to use. We've done another video on that. We'll put a link up at the end. Um, also, you can, you know, at the beginning of your journey, hundreds of bookmakers, like I said, and they're all offering bonuses. You can take advantage of these incentives. And finally, is you can do advantage taking, simple advantage taking, but each way betting on horses, you can track uh, bet fair, whenever you can get a better price with uh, bookmakers, you can bet with the bookmaker and then lay off on the betting exchanges like uh, bet fair. So, you know, these are other simple methods but benefiting without much knowledge of gambling. Now, if you really want to develop and you want to become, you know, a big gambler, this is what I do with the people that I'm coaching. You know, we, we, we have a service where we're actually uh, coaching people to become professional gamblers, and it could be something for you, something to consider, but uh, these are the most important things that you need to know. So let me just share them with you for free, right? First of all, you need to prepare what's for coming, right? One of the biggest issues that you've got out there is that when you start winning, bookmakers will limit you or will close your account, especially these soft bookmakers. Now, there are betting exchanges, there are other methods, there, are a, there is Asia to bet in, and uh, you know you can look into third-party accounts and so on, but you need to prepare for the future. 
So that could be also finding your own beds. It could be many, many different ways, there's different methods depending on where you live, what your access is to different bookmakers. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, think of that through. You need to prepare for the future. I also tell uh, people that I'm coaching that it's a numbers game. You know, you do need the numbers to make it work. Putting one bet on a day is not enough unless it was absolutely guaranteed winner. And we all know that doesn't exist. It's a pure numbers game from two aspects. Number one is you need to be beating the true odds. And number two is you need to be getting enough bets into the system to make it pay. You've got so much money, you've got to make that money work for you. And so, you know, just sitting in the betting accounts is doing nothing. You've got to keep churning it, right? So think about uh, your betting bank, think about what you've got, but, uh, you know, focus on uh, getting volume into the system. And also on that note, just one thing, you know, the more effort you put in, the more you're gonna get out of it. It doesn't matter where you live in this world, it's the same anyway. If you live in Africa, right, and you know, the average salary is there a couple hundred a month, and all of a sudden you can start making 500 a month extra from uh, betting, you're doing a good job, isn't it, right? In Norway, well, obviously, it would be a different story, but uh, uh, you know, think about it. Don't get bigger than you are overnight, but uh, just uh, try to think about the parallels, of what you can get out of the system. What I think is super important, though, for you to understand is that to be a successful gambler and to really be successful over the long, long term, right, you need a good understanding. And one of the things that really sort of uh, ignites me with the punters is that they're not decisive enough. You know, when the offer is there, it's like uh, walking by a shop now, you see something in the window, it's fantastic price, right? You've got the money in the pocket, go and buy it, right? Don't think about it twice because it's not going to be there tomorrow. You need to be decisive, you need to be quick, you need to be quick in taking decisions, when to bet, you need to be uh, quick in, um, hey, even with me, you need to be quick in making decisions. When people come for coaching and they say, uh, you know, uh, yeah, sure, uh, I'll be back to you in a week and then they come back a year later. I'm afraid it's gone, you know, the boat's gone, right? So, you know, be decisive. Being decisive in life, any business is important, but especially in gambling. On that note, you need to really follow through. You know, if you go away from this uh, video and you're sort of thinking to yourself, okay, uh, that's motivated me enough to give it a try, then you need to follow through. You need to start getting straight onto it. You need to get that uh, uh, money ready and start opening betting accounts, start looking at the different options that you can get and look at the extraction process. What's best for you? How are you going to achieve uh, in the future your profits from gambling? But do it quick. I would also like to warn you just one thing, right? If you are going to turn into being a professional gambler, then you've got to learn to avoid the sort of echo chamber, you know, the hype that goes on. You've heard people talking about, oh, this horse is fantastic, it's training fantastically at home, it's going to win its first race, right? Prove it on the track. It's the same with football betting. You know, the big teams, they're always getting talked up, they're buying new players. It doesn't mean they're going to perform. You've got to see them first. You saw Lukaku with Chelsea, absolutely useless when he started playing for Chelsea. And the thing is, he went to Inter Milan, much better, came back to Chelsea, useless again. Some things just don't work out. So don't buy into a hype. TV pundits are useless. They're not professional gamblers. You should ignore them. Turn the volume down. Don't listen. And if you see somebody win a load of money in your local betting shop or you, you know, go through a forum and they've won a load of money, it doesn't mean they are good gamblers, right? You know, winners can be uh, losers and losers can be winners. It just depends. Things happen for different reasons. You know, it's like going to the casino. Some people win some nights uh, purely because they've had a bit of luck on their side. But over the long term, anybody that's betting consistently with disadvantageous odds is going to lose. So winners are losers, losers are winners. It's a bit like the snakes and ladders board. And you, you know, you should uh, think this through for yourself, but uh, convince yourself that you're a winner as long as you're getting the odds in your favor. How far you can go will depend on your ability to find solutions, right? So, you know, it's gonna become a bigger challenge as time goes on, like we've already discussed. So you've got to make sure that you're, you're in the position to keep taking advantage, you keep progressing. If you do that, you're gonna be very profitable and you could become quite a rich person. Also, I just want to quickly mention again that we do do coaching, it is fee-based, but it is a fast track method into understanding. So if you want, think it's gonna benefit you, get in touch with us, 
you know, um, and we'll be back to you. Use this email address that we're going to put it in the, the bottom in the link, and also we'll put it in the uh, the description, right? So that's it with this video. If you you know you found it enjoyable, you think you could learn something from it, then also visit uh, our other videos uh, on this channel. They could be beneficial. But for now, you're through to bootcamp. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one soon. Take care. Bye bye.